Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video. And I know I haven't uploaded in a long time, more specifically two weeks. So for that, I really, really apologize, but it hasn't gone uh, in vain. I have been working on the channel a lot. I know uh, most of you have asked me questions. I know that uh, you know that I've answered all your questions. So I was active. It's just that I haven't uploaded any videos and I know I was supposed to upload the deep web videos and continue with the ethical hacking series, which I am. But I just was sorting things in the back end of the channel. Since we're growing, I wanted to basically get started with uh, just making sure that the quality of the videos uh, is very, very high now so that you guys can also enjoy it. And there's a lot of value being pushed out in one video. Uh, but that's besides the point now for this video. Let's get started. So in this video, I'm basically going to show you how to clone a website. Now, again, this is part of the ethical hacking course. Uh, this uh, well, you might be asking, you might be asking yourself, well, why do I need to know how to clone a website? Well, it may come in handy when basically, for in, for instance, you're in a certain scenario where you wanted to basically clone a website and you want to run it on your local area network so that you can basically lure a target to that website and they can enter their credentials and basically you can get those credentials and you get the point really. So basically cloning website. Now I'm going to be using Ubuntu Linux. Uh, you can use any other Linux distro. For those of you who are using Parrot OS and Linux and Kali Linux, you can go ahead and do that. By the way, I have no, no, I take no sides with either Kali Linux or Parrot OS. A lot of you guys have been really, really commenting down below that I either support Kali or Parrot. And the truth is I don't support either one. I like them. Well, you can say equally. I just have one uh, preference at this time. And that is Parrot OS because uh, of its user interface. It doesn't really lag. And Kali Linux has, they, they really got to fix that. But again, that's besides the point. Sorry about that. Let's get started. So we're cloning a website. I lost uh, track of what we are doing here. So what we're going to do is... Uh, to get started, all we're going to do is uh, um, basically open up the terminal. All right. So everything begins from the terminal. So just enter your root and I want you to create a folder on your desktop or wherever your working environment is. Again, this will work on any Linux distro. So what you want to do is create a folder on your desktop. And I've already created one. As you can see here, it's called cloned. Pretty cool. So uh, I'm just going to browse to my desktop and the and the uh, folder the folder I created so as you can see I've done that now to basically get started cloning we're going to be using a command called the wget or the the we get command now most or some of you may have already heard of this command and uh, maybe you don't know but for those of you who don't know the the wget command is basically a very very powerful and popular command uh, that is uh, used in the Linux terminal and is used to basically uh, obtain or pull data from a website or a web server, which is what we're doing right now. We're trying to clone a website. So um, how do we get started? Well, we could get started with the wget command. Just enter the wget command and we can use the h, which is help. This is always well, uh, a good thing to do if you're new to a command. Using the help command will basically uh, it'll give you a good idea of what the command, the, the full power and potential of the command and how it can really help you. So I really, really encourage you to look at the wget uh, command um, or if, for example, in any help command for whatever you're trying to do or you're learning, it'll really, really uh, give you a lot of information and you can get a better understanding of what each uh, parameter does. So um, there's a lot of parameters, as you can see, and options here that you can choose. But we're not. Uh, we've been. We're basically trying to clone a website. So, just follow what I do, and I'll explain as we go. So let's just clear all of this. And again, to get started, we use the wget command, and uh, just follow what I do. We're going to be use the mk command, and now we're gonna. Uh, we basically have to enter the URL of the website that we want to clone. So uh, if we were to try and find a simple website, I don't want a complex website because that will take too long. And that's just basically going to waste my time. We can try and basically just open like this simple web page. Um, uh, let's see, is this a simple web page? Looks like, um, but um, I don't want a page with downloads. 
but let's try this all right Let, let's try help.ubuntu.com let's try and clone this so after the mk just paste in the url with the https all right or the http depending on what website uh, you're trying to clone so just hit enter make sure that you're in the folder i'm in my cloned folder where i'll be storing all my cloned websites so let's hit enter and it's going to get started cloning it now again as i said depending on the size of the website it may take time and i hope this doesn't take time i'm i'm really really hoping the site isn't that big so it can actually just complete and i can show you that it does indeed respond uh, or give us all the resources linked to that website so uh, it's still uh, trying to get something right here but we can we can check uh, and see what it uh, it's actually got so as you can see this is the folder here help uh, .ubuntu.com and if we look in here it's basically got the the index.html for those of you again who are familiar with uh, html and web development it's called the lts folder basically the files being stored again in index.html and you basically get the idea so you can basically uh, now this is where the magic comes in in terms of cloning and ethical hacking well basically if we cloned this site and we wanted to use it for ethical hacking purposes how would we go about it well let's say i wanted to for instance i wanted to create a a local server on my wi-fi network uh, let's say i cloned the facebook page and i know maybe i have a, a friend coming over with his laptop and or his mobile device and he wanted to log into facebook right i would basically spam his ip with uh with that web with that web address or the, that web file and he would basically enter his login and uh, his login details and it will redirect him to the original facebook page whilst i get his credentials and you get the idea i can change whatever i want and you get the idea of basically hacked his facebook account so that's pretty pretty interesting pretty powerful tool uh, i really really encourage you guys to to go on and basically experiment of course make sure that you keep your experimentation within legal bounds right please don't uh, you know usher yourselves into into illegal or malicious intent but again this is all for educational purposes i hope you guys found value in this video again if you have any questions or you want to basically have a discussion you can hit me up in the comment section um, these my social networks you can basically send me a message on facebook twitter uh, if you want um, if you want to basically keep up with any of my latest updates you can hit you can basically look at my instagram if you want a personalized type of uh, you have you have a personalized type of question you can hit me up on on my kick and uh, we can basically take it from there otherwise guys thank you so much for watching if you found this video helpful please leave a like down below and uh, have a fantastic day bye